Hi guys, just thought I'd do this as a little bit of a information video. I'm going to run Virtual DJ uh, on a series of laptops and PCs to show you the CPU usage. I have done a video of this sort before asking if anybody was worried about the uh, CPU usage within Virtual DJ. It's never ever let me down big time. Um, I've had a couple of um, bum puckery moments uh, which have made me think whether or not the computer that I'm using is actually capable of doing what I want it to do. The CPU usage hits the red, whether it's an accurate uh, indication of the real CPU usage of the machine, I really don't know. Uh, this isn't any in any way um, knocking Virtual DJ because it's my favoured uh, program that I use when I'm gigging. Right, this is my machine at home. It's a iMac. It's uh, the lowest base model iMac. It's actually an i3 with four gig of RAM. I've installed Virtual DJ Home Edition on there. So if I can just double click on that. Pretty responsive, quite a good machine really, comes up as you can see, just up here, there's the CPU usage, this is the little critter that I'm actually worried about up here. Okay, there are occasions where I've had a few um, sweaty palmed moments let's say, where I've um, gone up to that and seen that little red line going up higher and higher and, and not being comfortable. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the small selection of music that I have on this machine. I'm going to select a track and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it into there and we can see. There you go. The demonstration there was that the CPU usage I think went up to about there and this little wave file here built itself up a reasonable rate or not so I wasn't dissatisfied if my laptop worked as good as that I wouldn't be having this video <laughs> making this video wouldn't be we wouldn't be having this conversation now but uh, yeah uh, it plays quite well it doesn't lag it doesn't even jerk in the actual CPU usage it doesn't matter what I do it doesn't move beyond that point really uh, Drag the same track, dump it into the other side. There you go, it's raised a little bit, gone back down, settled itself down. Glad files there. You know, very good. So, there you go. Alright. So, guys, that's the first one. That's a iMac running uh, an i3 Intel processor and 4GB of RAM. This is uh, what I class as my day-to-day -day laptop. It's an Acer Timeline. It boasts eight-hour battery life, and in reality, I've probably had about six and a half hours battery life out of this machine. It's a very good machine. It does exactly what it says on the tin, so I'm not dissatisfied at all. Right, now, let me just get the focusing right. Close that down. Again, Virtual DJ up here in the corner. Virtual DJ Home. Click on that. Fire it up on the screen. It comes up relatively quick. As you can see, the little meter at the top there is a little bit um, more active, let's say, than the than on the Mac. Um, it's it does tend to jump up a little down a little bit more, but at the end of the day, this um, machine isn't the biggest processor and possibly um, that's why. So now I'm going to do it's going to go down, I'm going to grab a track, I'm going to bring it up and as you can see we've redlined. This at this point if I was doing a gig I would be going and gritting my teeth but it's never let me down. Uh, I have used it a couple of times on occasions and it's it's been fine. Never had a problem with this one. So built the wave file up a little bit slower than I'd like and also the CPU usage went up a bit higher than I'd like but as you see it's calmed itself down now um, but again if I grab another track let's say and drag it up 
and dump it on the other side. Again, it redlines. And if you were playing the one track and doing that for the other, I don't know. Yeah, a little bit concerning. There you go. That's my Acer timeline, uh, four gig of RAM with uh, a uh, I Intel Solo processor. Hi guys. Now this is PC number three. It's actually an Acer Aspire 5100. It's a 15.4 inch laptop with a AMD Turon 64 bit times two 1.6 gigahertz processor with two gig of RAM. This one's actually running Vista. The reason I've left it with Vista is because I find that it's probably one of the fastest laptops I've ever seen with Vista on them. Believe it or not, it really does perform well and respond well with this Vista install. So I'm not going to rock the boat. I'm not going to um, do anything I shouldn't do on this one. So um, I'm just installing Virtual DJ for home. Um, and then I'll do the demonstration for the tracks. And as I said, here we have Virtual DJ for home up here. And just click on it. Forgive the noise, I think the washing machine is just going to go into a uh, major spin cycle so I hope this doesn't put anybody off too much. As you can see straight away, the little bar at the top is a lot more active than I think personally the little bar should be, or CPU usage should be just for a, a program. I was going to say simple program but it's not a simple program, it's a very good program. So there we go, so I've only put one track on here because this isn't a machine that I use for music at all but uh, I'm going to drag the track up dump it there and as you can see straight away we get a red line and it stays up there for a fair while and again this bar here is taking a hell of a time to build itself up and it's not until that gets to the end that that little line starts to settle its backside down as you can see okay so that's a um, Acer 5100 Aspire. None of these laptops have ever been slaughtered. None of these laptops have ever have had problems with. They're all just reasonable laptops that anybody, any home user, would have. Um, and you know, there's no reason why they shouldn't perform with a program like Virtual DJ. But as I said before, that little line up there makes me a little twitchy. I hope this helps. Laptop number four coming up. Right, laptop number four. This bad boy, oh, I don't think you'll believe what this is, you'll be surprised. This will blow you away, watch. It's an Acer One. Yes, let me focus again, sorry. An Acer One. Now, I hear you say, why are you bothering with an Acer One? Just really to show you the other end of the scale. I mean, this is a netbook. It's not even really a laptop, it's a netbook. Again, thanks to the guys at Virtual DJ, I've downloaded Virtual DJ for home, which is the free version, which um, demonstrates my purpose very well. Just have a look at the spec there. It's a 1.6 gigahertz Atom processor with 1 gig of RAM, 32-bit Windows 7 operating system. So anyway, drag a track across and oh, wallop, or oh, not, <laughs> as they say. There you go. We've got full green line to the top, which would be a red line on any other machine, and it is taking an absolute age to load up that little bugger there. And until that little bugger's loaded up, you never quite feel right about um, hitting play. Two reasons with Virtual DJ. Number one, you never know whether it's going to create any distortion or any uh, lag or any stuttering. And number two, um, Virtual DJ does have an auto gain on it. And if you drag and drop a track into onto a platter and kick it off before that little line's built up, the auto gain doesn't kick in and you suddenly get a major drop or a major leap in volume level um, maybe seconds into the track which doesn't quite work so there you go Acer 1 running virtual DJ good for a laugh but um, not really a serious working tool number 5 coming up hi guys right laptop number 5 this one here this um, actually quite a long story this one I'll try and keep it as brief as possible because I'm boring the legs off here um, this is another Acer and it's an Acer Aspire 9300 which is basically a big 17 inch Acer with a large keyboard 
and it's actually my original laptop um, that I I suppose when I started seriously doing DJing I worked with um, it's got 3 gig of RAM which has been built up over a period of time 32-bit um, Windows 7 operating system which um, was thanks to my boss who gave me the license to put on that uh, some while ago when uh, Windows um, 7 first came out this is a Windows 7 professional version right okay at the top here we've got the little red line and that's um, again pretty active um, not hyperactive but pretty active I've got my whole entire um, let's do a little mix that I did which is uh, Fatback Band and Steve Walsh I found loving right okay we drop that little sucker in there and red lines but as you can see it's not taking too long to build that up um, the red line does cause me a few twitchy moments or did cause me a few twitchy moments right at the very beginning but you know what I don't know um, it's never let me down what can I say the only thing that's ever let me down on it is when I had a bit of a hiccup when I changed over to a Behringer um, USB uh, MIDI controller and for some reason um, that escapes me because I have really really looked into it but it's the second Behringer I've had and it's it, it didn't work right it just I'm not knocking Behringer it just wasn't for me anyway guys that's a Acer Aspire 9300 big big laptop you couldn't even call that a notebook could you I mean that's a laptop and a half 17 odd inches of screen and um, when me old eyes are starting to get a bit dodgy and I'll pull this one out and then I'll be able to see when I thanks guys number six coming up look number six it's an Acer there's a surprise right okay it's an Acer Aspire it's um, a 5738Z it's got 3 gig of RAM it's got an Intel dual core 2 gigahertz processor 32 bit operating system Windows 7 Pro again okay and this again runs the virtual DJ I've put the icon sorry just down here because uh, declutter the desktop now I used this on the last gig I did and it performed perfectly all night and it kind of really made me think that maybe Intel dual core is the way to go right as I was saying as you can see guys it's all up now there's a fluctuating kind of the middle of the line um, it does red line occasionally but you know what um, I used this on my last gig that I did and in all honesty I didn't get an ounce of problem out of it the thing is when I drag a track up and dump it the wave file builds quite rapidly and you see it goes up a bit but it doesn't you know red line for long it's, it, I don't know it just doesn't make me as twitchy I mean this up against the i3 Mac the only conclusion that I can actually come to um, you know in a professional capacity and uh, with the DJing as a hobby is that for some reason Macs uh, operating system and hardware all seem to work in harmony with each other. I know it might sound like a stupid idea, but that's the only conclusion I can come to because spec wise, I know this is only 2 gig and the max 4 gig of RAM, but um, really it shouldn't be that far behind the Mac. Uh, and it is, it's quite way behind the Mac. But I would rather use this laptop than uh, using my old timeline. Um, so just post your comments underneath and let me know if you've worried about the CPU usage on your laptop or the spec of your laptop and whether or not it does as much uh, bouncing around as that. I must admit uh, with Windows 7 you've got lots of different settings that you can change and there especially is a lot of different settings which are things like shadows underneath the icons and shadows and different things that the icons do when you drag and drop which look all really nice but just use processor usage so if you can adjust those on your PC, um, it may give you a little bit more performance, which makes it a little bit more stable. So guys, um, as they all say, uh, practice and enjoy. And I hope this has been of some information to you, this video. And uh, catch you later.